Um, hello. I was supposed to be streaming this, or intended to be streaming this, but it ain't happening. Check this out. Found a big cave. But look, gold. Hello, guys. Welcome to the party. So many zombies. Last night at the Avalon Theater, the Academy of Magical Arts of the Magic Castle uh, held its 2022 award show. They decided to kind of highlight things that were done during the pandemic, the stuff that was done to help sort of keep the castle alive. They handed me and the uh, other people who were kind of part of the technical team a special award of merit. I have an award from the Academy of Magical Arts, which is something that many magicians just kind of dream about. I didn't get it for being a magician or doing magic, although you could make the argument that what we were doing was kind of magical, but um, but it was very nice to be thanked very publicly and uh, by the Academy. So that was very cool. Okay, so I've got 16 blocks of gold, plus six. So it's 150 ingots of gold. I do have more, but I'm, I'm not super eager to dig into that yet. That gets me about 18 golden apples, plus the 13 here. Um. So, that gets me about 30 golden apples, which I'm going to need, because let me show you what I've got over here. I've expanded my villager trading setup, and I've added a bunch of villagers. So, finally found, this is the last one I need to get. It's got an efficiency 5 book, protection 4, very important. This guy's got retired flame. This was, this is like my super guy. And projectile protection, frost walker, unbreaking, and piercing. This is this is my champion. Um, multi shot, blast protection, aqua affinity, and then these guys already had and had already been so six touch smite, back to the fallen, so on. Um, I had, and then over here, there's a few guys I swapped out. I got a sharp five guy, and I got a depth strider guy. What do you see? Hi. You only have luck of the sea. You have luck of the sea. Plus Depth Strider. I don't need you anymore. Okay. Lure 3 plus Mending. So... I have a villager, a librarian villager, with every single enchant that you can get from a villager. You can see for 23. Not that this matters, but luck can see for 43. Again, not that it matters. Hi. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be a little mean to you. I figured this out. This, if I put him on the rail, should take him all the way over to the to the zombification station. Uh, 
If I throw this switch. That wasn't very nice, dude. Okay, what's going on here? Wait, I had a husk in there. But I have a zombie villager librarian. But the husk was holding the gunpowder. Did he become a villager by virtue of infecting so many villagers? I don't know, but I can do this without any penalty because, you know, he was a zombie. Hi, I'm sorry that I've got you in there. Like now you're, now that you're one of them attacking your brethren, it feels wrong, but He's making regular zombie sounds. This is really bizarre. Oh, oh my gosh, I know what's going on. <laughs> that is a husk. <laughs> and one of the villagers I killed, I got his head and he put it on. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Come back this way, dude. I need a screenshot. Hi. Oh, you're funny. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's hilarious. Okay. So. Now, do I want to transfer one of these guns over here? I can do that. I switch this through. And I come around here and I switch this. And I can move one of these guys over here. Maybe should might maybe should do that. In my efficiency, I would. Argue. That gives me two more spots over here for additional villagers. So you're going to move around the corner. All right. Hello. Welcome to your new home. And I have a lecture in here for you. Um, yeah, that's not really where I wanted to put that. I can't really pathfind to that, so it doesn't count. Do that. Um, this is your lectern, okay? There we go, thank you. And then, I wish, wish you see five and two. Wish you could break signs like that and then just stick them up without having to rewrite them. But, I think this works. So. And the ones I put in parentheses are, are so sort of duplicate in chance, like, this guy has channeling, this guy has channeling, and in theory, since he only has channeling, none of the others are top level. I could get rid of this guy. Keep him. See, I can consolidate these. But he's already been sort of zombified and cured. He has not. Right? Yes, he's got big, huge, expensive trades. But I can now... Take out some of these. And that's fewer fewer villagers that I need to, to sort of process. Three, four, five. On this side and this side we have one, two, three, four. So I've got nine. That's convenient. So now it's like a multiple of three. Which makes life a little bit easier. So let's do that. 
and we can start processing these guys. So nine. Oh, I might have enough golden apples. I might have enough material for golden apples now. Just from that. That would be fantastic. So let's go try this. So if I grab all this gold, all these apples, and I can put all the gold blocks, the gold ingots, and then make golden apples out of all those. So 15 more golden apples, 31, which is just barely enough. And, um, yeah, so I have enough potions as well. Beautiful. I won't necessarily spend time recording all this, but that is very nice. Sun's going down. Let's see how my sugar cane is going. And in the morning, I'll show you the other nice thing about having all these villagers. And the other thing about having a bunch of uh, optimized villagers is you can do... They make a really good XP farm. Like a really good XP farm. Like I don't have any need at this point to go over to... The, uh, the other XP farms, really. Let me show you what I mean. So if I go and like convert all this into paper, bloop, and I can grab a couple more stacks of paper here. So I've got just a few stacks of emerald blocks. So this guy keeps raising his prices. I need to figure out what's going on there. But I think this is he has not a paper trip. Um, you have a paper trade, right? Yes. And he's raised his prices a little bit too. But if I put tools in my offhand and I trade paper with him, look at that. It, it, it heals and repairs the, the bending tools. No paper trade for you. Sorry, I'll be back. You've got a nice paper trade. There we go. Look at that. The is almost repaired. This is so much faster than going over to the skeleton farm. Pick up the XP, and now it's repaired. So cool. And I've got most of a stack of emeralds to go with it. Um, skip these guys, because they're not optimized yet. Some of these guys have paper trades. Hi! Let me trade with you. Look at that. Now that's repaired. My tools are... Basically, I'm right here. Oh, one more. No, no paper trade. Now, I, I'm probably going to put up an on the sign. Look, all the tools are repaired. Look at that. And all my armor, everything's repaired. And just with the trades that we have, even with the the guys that are increasing the thing, look, I have over a stack. Of emeralds just in that one go round. So I could do this and get a few more out of that. Thank you, dude. I find if I trade for some of these other things, the paper number will go down, but it doesn't ever go back. It doesn't seem to ever go back to one. Just a little frustrating. Now, I don't know if I need to bring him over and zombify him and cure him again. I may try that. Um, But, you know, it's still four paper for, for an emerald for four paper isn't that horrible. Um, and in a day, because they'll, re, they'll reload a couple times during the day. So every single day I can get easy peasy a couple stacks of emeralds. Like right now I'm at two stacks. And it takes three or four stacks of sugar cane. So I have to be a little diligent about collecting the sugar cane each morning. But look at that. Two, more than two and a half stacks of emeralds for doing basically nothing. Um, so 
Very nice. Uh, paperback. I sell a paper to trade with these guys. And if I wanted to, I could sell books. I don't have that many bookshelves. Oh, I have, see, I have books. Let's go trade off some books. Let's see how far we can take this. All these guys have book trays. Right, here, he'll, he'll, an emerald for a book. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no book tray. So I'll, I'll probably figure out little signage option to indicate who has paper trades, who has book trades. Because this is a good source of, good source of emeralds. Wow, yeah, look at that. And the crazy thing is, I can, the guys who have uh, book shelf trades, they'll sell me a bookshelf for one emerald. And then once I break it, the um, I'll get three books out of it, and, and the the ones with the book trades will buy them for one emerald each. So I can basically triple my money as long as the trades hold up. So there we go, three over three and a half stacks of emeralds for just trading papers and paper and books. That's pretty ridiculous. Um, probably, like, too ridiculous, but whatever. Um, okay, and then Gunpowder and Spider Eye, I can bring those over to the potion room, the potion, oh yeah, uh, the potion house. Um, I need to figure out what to do with these lanterns. And then, once I process all of these... Which is going to be a bit of work, but it'll be, you know, it'll be a little time consuming thing while watching TV. Um, then I can start pulling the villagers out of here. Oh, look, little baby. Uh, my villager breeder, move them over into my other bank here and start building up other villagers. So I want to get at least a few farmers. And I want to get a villager of each type. There may actually be an advancement uh, involving trading with a villager of each type. I'm not positive about that. But uh, that way then, once I clear these guys out, I can start loading up this. And then I can get like toolsmiths and armorsmiths and stuff and, and figure out the good trades for them. Because it would be nice to be able to get free diamond gear. Um, there you can get bows from Fletcher's. And if they're already enchanted, then I don't need as many enchanted books. But I've got the enchanted books to, once I get them all processed, for very little, very little money. Um, to make any piece of gear that you want so i can have a mending bow if i want i can also have an infinity bow if i want i don't see how much you know my bow is getting pretty low and it will break at some point here and i don't have a i don't have a good backup set up for it yet but obviously i will by the time it breaks i'll be able to make another sort of perfect bow <clears throat> this one isn't perfect, doesn't have like, um, flame would be nice, knockback, those, those would be nice. And then I can make, um, uh, bows for specific purposes, like low knockback bows, low power bows just to anger pigmen, for example. Because I'm thinking one of the next projects here is going to need to be building a gold farm. Um, just have to figure out where to do it, where the best location to do it is. Let's go over to the potion room and the oh, sun's going down, but we can do it.
That hurt a little bit. Okay. Oh, hello, Mr. Llama. I also need to get back on processing the llamas to try and find um, good high capacity llamas. Because that's, uh, that's, that will be useful. Okay. Oh, you know what? I need to grab some of that sugar cane and turn it into sugar and have it over here. I've got brown mushrooms. I do have some sugar here, so let's grab these brown mushrooms, or some of them, put it over here. But I live on a mushroom island. <laughs> oh, they get hard to see. So this is more spider eyes, uh, fermented spider eyes, which I need for the the potions. So. Let's go to sleep. Where's the wandering trader? I heard him. I heard him drinking his milk. Oh, there he is. Hello, sir. Wheat seeds. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you're pretty useless. I need to learn to let go of the right click a little bit sooner when I'm launching like that. Because I don't need to burn three fireworks every time I do this. And that puts more wear on the elytra. But... As you see, I've got a great XP farm. So. Dude. Oh, hi. How are you? Okay. All right. So. Oh, can I get a selfie with my funny looking? Okay, good. Anyway, so that's that's kind of a, that's kind of my update. Uh, things are going well over here. I've got basically all the librarian villagers that I could use. Um, yeah, we're gonna get rid of you. Sorry, going into bonus time. Okay, you don't have a paper trade. So, you... Your efficiency 5 in channeling. Okay, I need to get a couple pieces of rail. I'll be back for you. It's a little painful because I already spent the uh, time and gold to convert this guy into an optimized villager, but I don't need him, and I could use the space. got fancy armor okay oh he dropped oh interesting so zomber what did he decide he liked the the fancy helmet that dude was wearing 
And he picked that up instead of the zombie ha- instead of the zombie villager head. Hmm. Well, it's too bad. But whatever. All right. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I'll see you next time. Bye.